uh, aerials and moves in general. You can It's definitely going to be hard for Kirby to get in. Mm -hmm, for sure. And Samus, of course, has the win condition of if I have the space and you're not approaching me, I can charge up charge shot, and then she's even better. So this is difficult in that there is incentive on Ken to be the aggressor, which is difficult for Kirby with his movement speed. Like the chase on that one, taking the opportunity to charge up the charge shot. Actually goes for it all right away on the down air. Oh, and, and gets, gets it, it again. And this is just so <laughs> rough to start out as Kirby. Mm. You're, you're going to need to somehow manage to get in a multitude of times without taking too much percent to bring it back. Mm -hmm. But getting your own stronger charge shot is nice. Is it stronger? Than yeah, Kirby's, Kirby's copies are stronger than the original. And oh! that's a clutch pickup right there. What an excellent recognizing of the uh, the situation on that one. Really good capitalization. All right. And still with the full charge shot as well. This is a yeah. very quick close on the gap. I think Kirby has tools to combo into it as well. Um, if I'm, I'm sure uh, Ken will know more than me, but I'm, I'm sure Kirby has some unique stuff that he can do with it. Perhaps. And the threat of it as well. This is a big thing, right? It's very easy to be scared of the charge shot because it's got so much damage on it. It's really quick, especially at these ranges. Oh, Ooh. that's good to know. Oh, yeah, um, so Kirby's height, because Kirby's so small, the fully charged uh, charge shot actually hits the ledge as well. So that's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And if Salazar isn't ready for that, that could, that could be a cheeky little way to close the stock. For sure. And Ooh. that's another thing, too. You got to know these little bits of the matchup, not only with Kirby, but with the inhale. Especially when uh, Ken's going to rip it and get it once again. Hammer! Oh. All right. And call him out. Mm -hmm. Definitely a slow option, but uh, good for a tempo mix-up. All right, just tossing them out. Yeah, and uh, Seller wasn't at too much percent when they took the stock, but now very easily in kill range. Mm -hmm. And I do like that we saw previously Ken was holding on to the charge shot on that one, sort of threatening with the fully charge. Uh, and then we're seeing the half charge shots out here to sort of pester in neutral and put out at a range that Kirby normally doesn't have access to. And right here. All right. Um, cells are respecting it after they kind of got um, gimped last time from getting hit by the recovering Kirby neutral or uppy. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. I do like Ken's patience on that one. Cells are a little jumpy on the defense, so Ken's going to get a nice amount of percent. Further closing the gap. This has been really close. This has been like one person gets ahead and then they swing right back. Yeah, it, it's like um, this is now probably the most even it's been all game. It's right here. All right. Actually, doesn't get the uh, combo off the bomb on that one. That's interesting. Ooh. That's really good now. It'd be so key to hold Samus at ledge here. Oh, One might have been true at lower percents, but Maybe. too high right there. Respect for going for the conversion on that one. And it was really smart of Ken on that one to run forward and then shield. Not a whole lot of options for Celzar to go from. Yeah, good um, good jump uh, charge shot. Oh, and that's no. to take it very, very handily. That move is crazy strong. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and that up tilt was actually something I had in mind when I first thought the matchup. It's really good at covering airspace. Um, it's such a huge upwards hitbox. So I think um, a, definitely on ledge and a landing Kirby will really struggle to get around such a big boot like that, you know? Like. Mm -hmm. Especially because Kirby gets a decent mileage uh, jumping off the ledge and going for things like forward air to rep the offense coming from the ledge. So if that option is there, then it's all the more scary. And then Kirby has to rely on very slow airspeed to try to get away from the ledge. Yeah, and for Ken, um, I think you're, you're going to want to be able to play a little bit less catch up. Uh, he, kind of that whole game, um, Selzer got a good opening, then Ken was trying to crawl back. And I think uh, a good way to do that is, I think Ken just needs to be a bit more um, a bit more punishing with his openings. Like he got some good strings, but there was definitely spots where like there was a whiff grab that just went unchecked. And I don't really think you have that luxury in a matchup like this to, to not punish everything you, you can. Mm -hmm. I do like the adaptation there, actually weaving a little bit back on uh, seeing cells are Oh, forward. that would have killed, I think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite know how the mechanics work, but I think that would have been crazy strong. Yeah, would that have been like uh, same sort of deal as a reflect? I, I, th I think so. I wouldn't be surprised if it killed. Ooh. I think we saw Ken actually try to go for the dash attack to catch the landing on that one, but Samus, one of the most difficult people to have like a definite time of when she's going to touch the ground with yeah. those bombs. All right. I do like the anti-air attempt with the up tilt on that one, but uh, cells are going a little bit further back. 
Yeah, and, and the thing is, Samus is really floaty, which could be a disadvantage, but Kirby just cannot get up somewhere super fast, you know? Like, so you can't really rush down Samus that hard with, um, so it, it's tough for, um, Ken to get too much off of, uh, Ariel, like, Samus under. Mm -hmm. We actually have seen, oh, that was a little deep. All right, well, don't need to get in and close the distance if your opponent will do it for you. Unfortunate on Selzar Zen, but Ken now wow. going to eat a back air and idiot die at mid stage. Oh yeah, my God. that back air is crazy strong. All right. That, the, I don't think the reflector quite came out in time. Like wow. And then comboing, that's another thing at the lower percents. You can chase that charge shot in and get a conversion off of it, which is especially scary for a character like Kirby who's not going to take a lot of hits. Yeah, and this is kill percent right here. Oh, trying to end it. Yeah, going to put it. I like that. Very good option, just throwing out the hitboxes and taking advantage of the lead. Yeah, Sal Salzer um, really ran away with that after, I think, the first two stocks um, because I think they'd realized just how hard it is for Kirby to come near Samus's airspace or mm -hmm. ground space. Like, you just can constantly have something out that Kirby cannot deal with, so. We actually saw uh, two separate instances that I think are really good examples of that. Early on in this clip, we saw Ken try to trade his way down against Samus Fair, and then earlier on in that same game, we saw an air dodge of the early hit, still got hit at the end of it. Yeah. Uh, it covers a ton of space, uh, just with the one aerial, and it's very difficult to get in on Samus when she's got the fadeaway as well, her airspace is pretty good mm -hmm. um so yeah i would say that's pretty rough difficult matchup on that oh, one yeah. but I, I think for sure 